I've had a number of questions about what software I'm using for the XCARP. And with this short video, I just want to show you what I'm using. But it's not like an instruction video how to use the different programs. There, there you can find tons of videos on the different programs. And many of them uh, are some that requires some training. This is uh, what you need to go from an idea to something that you can carve on the machine. First, you need to uh, have a CAD program computer uh, aided design, which is basically a drawing program. So you need to be able to draw your part and then do the machining. You will do that in a CAM program. And then you need to transfer the uh, created G code to the machine using a controller software. In this list, I have gathered the software that I have been using uh, and I have split it into CAD, CAM and controller and given a few uh, notes about flexibility, cost and so on. The first one I want to mention is Easel, which is a combined product uh, made by Inventables. You can uh, use it directly online, so it's not something you have on your computer. It's an online platform and it combines CAD with CAM and controller. So basically you just connect your machine and then everything is run as one continuous process from design and all the way to coding. It has a somewhat lower flexibility than other uh, systems, but it's very, very easy to get started with. Then uh, the next one I want to mention is SketchUp. It's uh, originally a Google program, uh, very, very high flexibility uh, drawing program. You can download it for free as long as you're not using it as a professional. Uh, and together with SketchUp, it's possible to get a SketchUcam, which is a plugin, a free plugin uh, that you can download and install into Sketch, uh, SketchUp. And by doing that, you also have uh, the cam part. And here I would say that the CAD part has a very, very high flexibility. You can do more or less everything, whereas on the cam part, uh, the SketchUcam is a fairly simple one. Uh, and uh, if I just switch to uh, SketchUp, I can show you some of the CAD CAM uh, capabilities. So here we are inside uh, SketchUp and you can see uh, that you can make very nice uh, complex models uh, of 3D objects. And of course, this one uh, is a very complicated uh, piece that uh, you would never envision to uh, carve uh, using uh, the SketchUcam plugin. However, uh, other more simple flat objects uh, you can easily do with uh, SketchUp uh, and SketchUcam. Here we have another much simpler uh, 2D project, a uh, front and a back plate for a control box for the x card. And here SketchUcam will be very efficient to define the G-code necessary. And SketchUcam is uh, the icons up here. Uh, you will get those as soon as you load your plugin. And the first thing you have to do is basically define uh, the speeds and uh, the rates for the carding and all that. So I have here like 300 as a feed rate and a material thickness of three millimeters and so on and so forth. So having defined that, the next thing you basically need to do is to go around and say, okay, here I want to have a carb out and maybe I want to make these holes here. something like this. And maybe I also want to make a profile outside to have the part cut out, something like that. And if we say that this is all I want to do, basically I just need to hit the green arrow here and then I'll create a file with the G code to do this carving. So it's fairly simple uh, with uh, a 2D object like this one. The next software I want to mention is a campaign. Uh, now we are in the group of pro uh, programs that actually cost something. It's approximately 100 euros, uh, but you can get a free test download. This program is, uh, I would say, primarily a CAM uh, program, but it also has some CAT functionalities. Yeah, so here we are inside campaign, and I have been drawing uh, this pro profile here for a project. It's uh, an outline or two outlines here with uh, two holes in each. 
And basically, I have made a drilling operation, which uh, will be drilling the four holes. And then I have been making a cutout profile with tabs and everything, which is now highlighted in red. And again, uh, here you have some drawing options to draw different things. The, that's the green icons. And then you have the orange ones up here that allows you to do all the different uh, cam activities. And for the cam activities, there is a gazillion different parameters you can set for each of them. So this is very flexible on the cam side. And it also, you can do most 2D drawing. However, I do find it a lot easier to do it in a SketchUp and then import it into Kanban as, for example, a DXF file. The next program uh, I want to mention is VCarve. Uh, now we are in the expensive end uh, of the scale. It's uh, like 600 uh, euro. You can download a free uh, test uh, to see how it works for you. And uh, this is also a combined CAD and CAM, but here I would say that both CAM and CAD are pretty powerful. Yeah, so here we are inside uh, VCAR Pro, and uh, it goes very much the same as uh, the CAM band. You draw your vectors uh, on the piece of material that you are using, and uh, then you need to define the different milling operations, and you do that in a separate part over here. And then a very nice feature is that this program has a 3D view of uh, the, the product you are making. So for example, here you can very easily see uh, what I have been designing uh, and how it's going to look after the carving pr pr process has been done. So very, very efficient, but also very costly. So up and until now, I basically only had one that can control the uh, x carve. So uh, for the controller part, uh, you can get the Universal G-Code Center. You can download that from GitHub and it's free. Uh, and just as the Gerbil controller, which also can be found there, they have both a fairly low flexibility, but they can do what you need. They can send the code uh, you generate in any of the other softwares to the machine. Uh, and that's basically all you uh, need to do it. Uh, a lot of people uh, on the net talks about Mac 3. Uh, it's a very, very uh, comprehensive controller program. has very high flexibility. However, this is not possible to run with a Gerbil. Uh, so if you want to use Mac 3, you basically need to get rid of your Gerbil uh, controller on the, uh, and the Arduino and substitute that with, that with some other controllers. Uh, that you can buy on the net. There's a lot of things out there that you can buy, but uh, that's a major task to uh, revamp the machine or, or on the electronic part. So I hope this uh, gave a fairly uh, good impression on, uh, on what I use and, and how it's being used.